Okay, so I'm going to show you how to um, do things on your iPad for this assignment, just in case um, it's a little bit different than on the computer for you. So um, you can still add a new slide just like you would before. I don't need that one though. <clears throat> so I have a blank one down here. So I'm going to start with adding in a background. So um, you can see the little background button in the middle and you can click on that and just like on the computer, you can do a solid color, you can choose an image. So if I choose an image, you can upload one from your, like your iPad, maybe you have a picture or something cool, you can um, search for, you can take a picture or something. I like just Google image search. So even if I type in trees, it'll show me a bunch of different things. I think this is kind of cool. So I just clicked on which one I want and then I can click insert and it puts it as the background. So um, because if you choose a dark background like this one that I did and you type, so I'll just do fly, it's gonna be really hard to read. So you can either change the font color or to really make it a lot easier is to change the background of those individual text boxes. So to do that, as long as you have a text box selected, so I'm on the big one, I'll do this, the small heading where my name is. There is a paint bucket up in the top middle and you can fill it with a color. So you could do, maybe I wanna stick with kind of green things and do a light green. Um, or you can go kind of crazy, oops. And yeah, I do purple. So whatever colors you want, as long as we can read it pretty good. If you wanna make the text boxes a little bit fancier, you can add a border color. So that's that little pencil next to the paint bucket. So maybe I want to do purple. And you can make it thicker or thinner. So like 24 is super thick, probably too much. I'll try four. You can also change the style of the line. So if it's a solid line, a dotted line, dashes, whatever you want. So that's a little bit about backgrounds on Google Slides on your iPad.